EDP 445 is back. Wait, what? So world-renowned cupcake enjoyer EDP 445 has returned to YouTube for what seems to be the 20th time. This time, he's creating another channel. All right, y'all. So this is my 9 million attempt at trying to create a mother YouTube channel. Um, we'll see how long this bullshit lasts. Probably won't last long at all. I guess you can consider this a little test video to see what they'll decide to do. So the thing about this is, right, is YouTube. Once you get banned off of YouTube, right, you get three strikes, you're out. YouTube, basically what they do is they get your channel. Like every time they see you again, they'll keep banning your channel, banning your channel, banning your channel. If you get reported, they'll ban your channel. But there is a way around this. If someone else owns your channel, but you post on it, like it's under a different name, I don't think you can get banned because it's under a different ownership. I think that's what Keemstar does. But like his trolls, like they they would they're gonna get his channel taken down. Like there's no way they're gonna let him keep the channel up. It doesn't matter. But like there is ways you he can't if someone else owns his channel, there is a way for him to get his channel back. You see what I'm saying? It's just there's different rules and regulations on YouTube. I might not I might be wrong about this. You see what I'm saying? I might be wrong about this. If don't take my word like a hundred percent, but I'm kinda I'm kinda sure. I don't know. And who knows if this doesn't get yanked down, probably the next video will. Or the third one, or the fourth one, or the fifth one, or the sixth one, or the seventh one, or the eighth one. Who fucking knows at this goddamn point? So, um, yeah, we'll fucking see. If you don't know who EDP is, which I wouldn't understand why, because he's basically a money glitch on YouTube. Literally every YouTuber has covered him. I ain't gonna lie. He's a YouTuber who gained popularity among the NFL fan base for his crazy Eagles rants and even food reviews. I saw a few of his videos before everything went downhill, and I get why he had fame. He's always been himself but to a fault. Because in April of 2021, his career and life as he knew it were mm. basically over after he got exposed for talking to a minor. The original what? EDP 445 confrontation with channels known as Predator Poachers and CC Unit was in 2021, where they grilled him about messages that were exchanged with a decoy who posed as a 13 year old girl. That's weird, like why would he, the thing is you have YouTube fame, like why would you put yourself in that situation to get like caught? Like it doesn't make any sense. Like I don't understand from my point of view, like, why would you do that, bro? You're making a crap ton of money off YouTube. You really don't need to like work or do anything. You only got to make content. And yes, content can be stressful sometimes, but like it's still kind of weird that he would risk everything for something that's like not legal. So like it doesn't make any sense to me that contained explicit content. This is where he came up with the viral excuse of him just being there for cupcakes. All right. Go ahead. Well, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake. <laughs> and then go back home and this was basically the end of edp's online reputation mm. he privated all his videos but that didn't help because both his main and second channel would get terminated soon after he then tried to move his brand over to his own website where he just talked shit about the youtubers who spoke on the situation which what? included chet goldstein one of the people that confronted him at this time edp rarely showed remorse for his actions and played victim all the time That's but the thing is if you want to get better you have to show you have to show like what you did it was wrong he needs to know that Hey, I did something that was super weird. I need to get help. Maybe go to therapy and maybe do a whole bunch of stuff to get help. Be a better person and like, and fix the problem. But if you just like, oh, I didn't do anything wrong and then try to keep going with it. Like you're like, what are you doing, bro? Come on. Come on, bro. Like, it's just, you're just going to, you're just going to repeat that action again. If you don't fix it, it's like simple, like human anatomy. Like some people can, they cannot like, I don't know, like in this point of view and like on the internet and stuff. Everyone wants to be right. Oh, Google says it's right. Oh, it's right. Like, I'm right. I'm like, bro, like, we're not always right, bro. 100% of the time, we always say, that's why when I talk, I'm usually say, I might be wrong about this, but this is what I heard. You see what I'm saying? Like, if I'm wrong, like, okay, you prove me wrong, bro. You see what I'm saying? That's all you got to say. Like, I don't know. I don't know. At some point, he claimed to be suffering from kidney failure, I guess to make people feel bad for him, and nobody bought that shit outside of the 10 EDP fanboys left. It got so bad to the point where he had to even start streaming on the Beagle app and worked as a security guard in Walgreens. Just put my fries in the damn bag. OMG, EDP, I'm such a big fan of you. Like, I'm being so serious. Thank you. I, how, like, how's life been? Like, why did you come to Beagle? You said what? Why did you come to Big O? What the fuck is Big O? This app. Oh, you mean Big O? Oh. Yeah. You know what the fuck yeah, you're talking about? Yeah. Um, 
Like, you can find some bad bitches on here, too, bro. You can Wait, what? Find some bad bitches on Nigga, here. Nigga, <laughs> listen, man. I'm cool on that bullshit. I'm flying solo, nigga, from now on, man. So you don't want bitches, but you want kids? Block him. He's gone. Oh. In July. Uh, what? 2023 EDP will issue one of the worst apologies I've ever heard on YouTube proceeding not to touch on no pun intended any of the crimes he was caught doing I also want to say thank you so much to the fans you know what I mean um to my fucking supporters um dating way back um in 2010 when I first started making videos um on YouTube you know what I mean um even you know um transitioning onto my own fucking website um, where I'm continuing to make content, you know what I mean? And try to put out the word, try to make equals videos and shit like Bro, like, but the thing about having your own website is like, bro, a lot of the traction comes off YouTube because if you have other content creators on a website, it creates more traction, more people go on it and more people will see your videos. But if you just have your own website, like where is the marketing strategy to like market your website? Unless you use Google ads. You see what I'm saying? So like it's a it's a dead project most of the time. Like there's like maybe Andrew Tate, but he he markets on all the different social media platforms, even if he's banned. Do you see what I'm saying? Other people post his stuff for him not to be banned. Like even if, if he is banned. So you're saying like there's no marketing into this. Like it's gonna fail. That you know what I mean? Um thank you so much. Honestly, thank you so much. You guys have no idea how happy how appreciative and how and how blessed i am to have such a look to have such a loving supporting caring following but with that being said i want to take full responsibility for my actions that happened on april 21st 2021 um the entire youtube shit that went down the entire youtube incident you know what i mean um that went the fuck down i might even want to get into it you guys already know what the fuck happened um I'm taking full responsibility for accountability. Damn. Um, okay. For my actions. You know what I mean? Um, what? I have taken the proper measures and the proper steps forward to seek out help um, to try to, you know, get my head on right and to make sure that, you know, in the distant future that I do not hurt. You know what I mean? My loving, caring, supporting friends and family. Because they they are the ones that hurt the most. They are the ones that suffer the most. You know what I mean? Um, I've received numerous fucking messages, screenshots from my friends and family. Um, what? You know what I mean? Them getting harassed, them getting bullied, them getting fucked with by people. So, like, what I'm going to say about this situation is... Okay, if you guys want to like, I don't even think it's right to troll EDP 45. You see what I'm saying? Now he's actually accounting to his issues. But the thing is, if you're going to go after his family and his friends, you're messed up. You, like, you should not. That's that's just going way too far, bro. Like, like trolling him, yeah, that's not good either. Like, you should not try to hurt someone or bring them down or whatever, even if he did something wrong. But going after his family and his friends is a whole nother level. And I feel like... There should be a thing online where, like, you can get in trouble for this. Like, there's no way that, like, you threatening and sending stuff and saying weird stuff. And it's just weird, bro. It's just weird. And I understand that he did something wrong. But, like, leave his family alone. You see what I'm saying? They didn't do the action. They didn't do it. He did it. But his family didn't do it. So why are you harassing them? You see what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And um, it's all my fault. It's been pretty fucked up. Um, it's been a long-ass fucking road. You know what I mean? A long, scary, dangerous road, you know? And again, like I mentioned before, I have nobody to blame but myself. You will receive backlash from this video and responded to this hate later that month in another video taking back this quote unquote apology. That it was an apology towards the haters and all that shit. No, 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 no. Me personally, I made that apology video and it was directed towards my close friends that I hurt directly. Regardless if I was, you know, regardless of what had happened, my actions um, hurt them badly, severely, you know what I mean? And so um, I felt like me making that apology video was more so an apology towards them. No, okay. the apology was towards all the people that hurt directly, was to my friends that I hurt directly.
That makes sense. Set up, bro. That's what it was. How were you set um, up? How was I set up? Well, I mean, if you go back, dude, and if you look at the video, man, I mean, these motherfuckers clearly um, lured me to um, an enclosed, well, not an enclosed, but more so like a um, like a secluded area and shit like that, dude. And um, the entire thing was, uh, again, man, I'll say this from day one, dude, and nobody can ever change my mind on this, dude. Um, so why is he like accepting what he did but now he's like kind of denying it this is what the thing that kind of confuses me because like why is he saying one thing and then doing the other that like kind of blows my mind maybe i got the interpretation wrong maybe i got his words wrong but like i feel like he's still in denial even if he said that he's not the entire thing was predicated and based on hate and jealousy dude you know what i mean um, because, um, I mean, you get motherfuckers, I'm not sure if you know who he is, but you got motherfuckers like Master at Work, you got all these other, uh, uh, other people, Cold Raven, who do football and talk football. They basically try to, they basically try to be like my ass in, in the content that I do, but they weren't really successful at it, you know what I mean? And so they were jealous because I was able to, I was able to, um, Bring a fuckload of money in. Do you think you were talking to like an older girl or do you think she was 13? Next question, bro. See, he's like, why? Okay, so like the thing is, if he knew he didn't do something wrong, why wouldn't he just answer the question? Why is he just cons like he keeps denying it? So like, I don't understand why like, he says one thing and then he does the other. So like, I, in my opinion, what in my interpretation, I just feel like he, like I said before, he is not, he is not look at what he's done wrong and he still tries to go online right and like even if he like said oh i did this wrong and then tries to improve himself there might be some people who will forgive him probably not a lot of people but like he's trying like he can try to get back online trying to trying to talk to youtube i think didn't he get banned because he was talking a whole bunch of crap about a lot of youtubers um i don't like i don't know bro i'm just i'm just lost in words because like um dr disrespect got caught but he didn't get banned off of youtube for being the p word you see what i'm saying so like he must have did something wrong to get banned august of 2023 edp would get caught speaking to another minor this time it was a 15 year old that turned what? out to be a youtuber leaked audio recordings showed him asking to meet up with her sending her explicit pictures and threatening her life if she were to ever leak their conversation so and then he does it again one like a person that like i said does not account for doing something wrong it will do it again and he literally he got caught again bro like, like i'm surprised this man not in jail like i'm surprised that he's not in jail like i'm surprised that cops haven't pressed charges of, like it's just crazy it just blows my mind it really does but i'm telling you right now fuck me over this shit goes wrong in any fucking way shape or form give your soul to the lord Right after this, YouTuber Gideon would collaborate with Skeeter Jean, a known predator catcher, to confront EDP after hiring a private investigator to find his whereabouts. This video was uploaded and soon deleted after, but it was entertaining to say the what? least. Now, as for his recent attempt at YouTube, EDP basically says he's going to use this as a test run. I honestly don't see this going far. I mean, the man went from using his real name on the channel to keeping 445 in his name, and just look at his bio before he changed it to what it is now. Like, the man is asking to get banned again, and it's good fuck him his most recent video he uploaded was a rant about women after one of his many failed attempts at having a normal conversation with them it's funny because last bro but the thing is women are not gonna feel comfortable with you because you got caught twice being a p word you see what i'm saying like like they're not they're not gonna be comfortable with you bro so like why are you like trying to think that it's like daisies and sunshines when it's really not bro it really isn't Last year, EDP445 uploaded a video basically quote unquote exposing Mr. Beast crew member Chris Tyson after becoming transgender and tells people to protect their children from him. And That's crazy that he predicted it before it happened. He turned out to be somewhat right after the recent events involving Chris. It's just so ironic coming from him after he was exposed for being a predator himself. So like, I feel like, cause EDP445 was connected. So basically he was connected, right? So if he has a lot of connections in the YouTube world because he was actually one of the bigger YouTube channels at the time, he probably knew about Chris because a lot of people probably talked about it behind the scenes, but it was not very good to do it to another YouTuber. Like a lot of people, like 
like the doctor disrespect like people knew about the situation but they just didn't say it maybe because they signed NDAs but like people knew about Chris Tyson but they just didn't say it and the thing is Chris Tyson was doing it on Twitter bro like he was literally saying this type of stuff on Twitter so it's kind of it kind of blows my mind how he just got caught now and I feel like he's hurting Mr. Beast's career because people say that once Mr. B once they get like a lot a little bit of hate on Mr. Beast they're gonna keep dragging him down dragging him down and it just all starts from one problem. And Mr. Beast is getting a lot of hate. People are trying to cancel him. People are farming videos. Like, I even made a video on him, right? But I will say this. Like, knowing Mr. Beast, yeah, he's just a content creator. People make cert do certain things to make the video more entertaining. And people need to understand that. Like, I feel like Mr. Beast shouldn't be getting all this hate. But it's just, it's just like, yeah. But back to the EDP 445 situation, it's just crazy that he predicted all this. Like, it just blows my mind. That's all I got to say, man. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Also, let me know if you like these kind of topics that I'm covering or whatever. I may include these in the regular stuff that I cover all the time. Let me know if you like these type of videos and shit like that. But I saw, man. I'll see you on the next one. It's Fargo, and I'm out, man. So I'm going to say shout out to JB and Fargo. If you guys have not turned your notifications and liked the video, do you see what I just did? Please do that. Please. Like, and then like guys, like J JB and Fargo's channel is amazing. Go, go also sub to his another channel. Do you see what I'm saying? Show support to the creators that I react to. Thank you so much, JB and Fargo for making amazing videos. This video was, it was amazing. So I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. This video was crazy. I had to react to it. So, like, thank you so much. And, yeah, guys, if you guys have not liked, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for me as well, please do that. But do not forget to subscribe to the channels that I react to. Please, before me. You see what I'm saying? Do it before me because there's the one that's making the amazing content. I'm just giving you my own opinion. And, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys later. And peace. Bye, guys.